This is Jim and Liz with DC Digital and today we're demonstrating a DC-40 T-DN-UP-Static and this is a network uh, connection to send a either and it's a multifunctional um, uh, display so you can send time of day right yeah. You can send a uh, count up timer, you can send a uh, countdown timer, um, hours and minutes or seconds, minutes and seconds, right? Mm -hmm. uh, count up timer, you can start at zero, you can start at any time and have it count up. It can be just a static number display with, uh, as you see now with the uh, colon in the middle or no colon and a decimal point. So uh, I've got Liz here with me and she's going to run through a couple of the functions and kind of describe the uh, web page that gets brought up when you access the uh, number displays uh, IP address. So go ahead Liz. So um, make sure that you have your clock plugged in and for both the power and the um, Ethernet connection then when you type in the IP address it will be sent to this page it has the um, control protocol um, all below the um, place where you type in the command string so it'll tell you exactly uh, what you need to type in for what you want so the first byte um, is going to be T and then the second byte is going to switch it between time of day clock, count up timer countdown timer and static number display and then after that there are more um, different there are more types of operation. Um, and then the last two bytes are going to be the um, group and channel that you broadcast to. So if you have more than um, one of these, you can send the command to just a single clock, or you can send it to an entire group, or you can send it to the entire channel. Um, so let's start with, currently it's on the time of day clock. This is 24 hour mode, um, so let's do a count up timer, so that's going to be a TU, um, and then if we do one after that, it's going to set and start the timer at um, whatever value you type in the next four numbers, so let's start it at 0000, zero, zero, zero. and then this um, display is, has a group and channel of A. So the last two bytes are going to be AA, and you press send, it resets it to zero, you can see the colon in the upper left, it starts counting up. If we type in TU2, then any four numbers, and then AA again, it will pause it, and then TU3, zero, zero, zero. And then press send. It'll resume counting from where it was paused. Okay. And then let's try TD. And then. Which is countdown, right? Yep. So you're going to count down from some value. So let's do countdown from 9999. And then send it to AA. So the command I sent was to set the value for the timer and mm -hmm. wait yeah. until it, um, you press the resume. So TD3AA and then press send and it will start. Okay. Very and then good. the countdown timer will also, you can also pause it and resume it okay. the same way the count up worked. Okay. And then for the static display, say TS0, um, 0 will give you a number with no colon or decimal, so okay. 9876, and then AA to send it to this specific display, and you can see it has 9876. Okay, very good. So the display is a 4 inch display, so it's a DC-40, comes in an all aluminum enclosure, which you can mount to a uh, 2x4 uh, handy box or 4x4 um, electrical box. Uh, it also has other tabs on the back for 
um, mounting. And then the Ethernet comes in, you just plug in the side along with the power, which comes with a six foot cord and it's, it's a wall adapter. Uh, but like she was saying, it's all addressable. So you can have what up to 600 and some odd uh, on the one um, for to to be able to uh, uh, put on your Ethernet. Um, so and it also does time of day. So if you just want it to uh, keep time of day when you're not using it, uh, you can send it time of day uh, in 12, 24 hour format. Okay. Uh, and when you turn it on, it'll be time of day by default until you change the command sent to the display. Okay. Very good. All right. This is uh, a DC-40 T-DN-UP-Static, uh, and it's a network, so it'd be uh, N. So uh, uh, thank you.